welcome to another Loot Crate here on Pastiche of Skin. It is an absolute pleasure to see you. Thank you very much for coming back. We have a new place to show you. Look at the way this is all laid out now. Oh, it's something interesting. It's something different. And different is scary. But we will make do with what we got. But let's see what's inside of this crate. <laughs> no. Today's crit is the anti-hero loot crit. Yes, this has been out for a little while, ladies and gentlemen. I'm playing catch up now. You're gonna notice it's gonna be a nice long stack of these one after another after another. Because I've been gone. It wasn't vacation, it was just working on other projects. So let's take a look, as we always do, out in the wide for the t-shirt. Here we go! Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to the new location, looking to the new set. This is the modern past t-shirt skin. What do you think? Likey, no likey? You gotta tell me these kind of things. This is the reason why I end up making changes over a regular basis. Because I have to move and I have to go to different places and record in different ways and all these little iterations and changes. If you guys like the ones that you see, then uh, tell me because I might actually stay there for a little while longer. So what have we got here? Great tea. And our branding for this month's t-shirt is Sterling Archer from the show Archer. Archer for president. Vote for him. To be honest, as a candidate, I'd probably go for Archer over the top of Hillary or um, Trump, just missing because I know what this man has been up to. <laughs> I know all the terrible things he has done. So just take a look at the quality of the t-shirt. It's a fruit and loom tea in HD cotton. Hey, HD cotton. 720 threads per inch. Not the full 1080p, that's just a little bit too decadent. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if they actually really mean anything by HD cotton. It probably is just a bigger thread count or a better quality one. And um, the stitching is actually quite nice in this one. Um, feels like I could probably pull that out though. Yeah, doesn't look too bad. It's a lightweight summer tee, nice grey colour. Uh, easily going to, it, it looks like a campaign tee. This really does look like a campaign t-shirt. I could probably see this actually being done up like this, as a wall hanging kind of thing, where you just kind of cut out the square bit of material and put it across a canvas. That'd be kind of nice. I'd actually like to see that, because it's a nice square print. Use of red and blue as the two colours, so of course our, well, the Americans' two-party colour system. Well represented by Archer series. Nice t-shirt. We'll keep on looking at this stuff to see what else is actually good, but um, that was actually not too bad. I'd wear that one. I'd be absolutely fine with that. So back into the crate. What have we got here? Oh yeah. This is what everybody's been chatting about. This is what people want. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. It is beautiful. Isn't it? Oh. Yeah, Harley Quinn in her classic costume. Um, this is a Suicide Squad. Oh, that's kind of cute. It's cute. In fact, actually, QM put the uh, Suicide Squad one on the back of the box as well for us to see, so we can see what the variants and the differences are. Well, hi, Puddin. Miss me. Oh, she has to go up onto the shelf. Oh, she even has one of the jackals, um, her little babies, as a side part of the figure. So yeah, cute figs. I am actually a big fan of their series. They actually they, they're reasonably good. Um, I like the detailing in them. I like the proportion and design to them. I'm not too sure about this sign, but I'm definitely gonna put the figure up. Come on, pop. Pop. Come on. We know about your kitty badness, where you actually want to make sure everything stays together. Come on, separate. Ooh. Avoid dropping the thing. I'll pop you down. Oh, look at Harley. Look at her. I like the fact that the hammer is nice and loose on it. It actually is inside her hands rather than actually molded to the body. And that's a really sinister smile. I like that Harley. That's actually a really nice one. I, I can get on board with that. Cool. The fact that she's in the original costume is a good sign. And I love the cowl around the jackal. That's going to be cool to put up on the foot. That's going up on the shelf probably next to Deadpool because got to keep the color schemes matching. That's actually pretty nice. Cool. So Andy here is actually off to a good start. I'm not. I'm not seeing anything partic- oh, oh no. Why? Lucre, why? Why socks? Why socks? Fuck your socks! Fuck Kill Bill socks! Fuck these socks, fuck these socks, get rid of them. Goodbye! No more fucking socks. None do not require socks. We do not need socks when Loot Wearables provides socks. The t-shirt, I can tolerate even though we have Luke tees and you're essentially eliminating 15 to 20 dollars of the value of every box by doing that, but <clears throat> fuck off with your socks. Those feel like they're leftovers from another, another story. Is, is Beatrix Kiddo actually 
Is Beatrix Kiddo actually an anti-hero? It's a revenge fantasy story, so I can understand that, but I'm not understanding why she's an anti-hero. She's just a violent hero. Which, sure, there is a kind of distinction difference. I mean, the Punisher is an anti-hero because he actually actively will attack and kill creatures and villains and whatever else that other heroes will let live. He's an anti-hero in the fact that he actually is anti-heroism. Beatrice Kiddo isn't an anti-heroic character. She's just a vengeful character. Probably in the same way, you, I wouldn't call Moon Knight anti-hero. I'd call him a vigilante. Batman is kind of... Uh, people may mention he might be an anti-hero. Maybe the same way, like... Um, Batwoman probably is more the fact that she just grabs guns and goes, fuck you, you're dead. As she did in the uh, Bad Blood series, or a Bad Blood film. But no, Beatrix Kiddo isn't an anti-hero. Okay, so we're getting all of our expression of anti-heroes, or whatever they think anti-heroes are. It's a Hellboy coin box. The right hand of doom. Now the thing is, the hand of doom is red, is it not? It's his red hand. Alright, it's just the boxes in black and white. I think part and part of it is that the, um, cause the original comic series was in black and white as well. So, it's a money box. Alright. I can get that. It's a simple little money box. Look at that. Looks cool. It's, um, it's alright. <laughs> it's, a, it's a money box. I already own uh, money boxes for a number of reasons. It has a wee kind of like plastic seal at the bottom to keep the cash in. It probably, it looks like it doesn't hold that much. Um, yeah, I wouldn't try to put my paper money on it because it would get jammed very, very quickly. So, yeah. It's a nice wee gift for a young member of the family. Somebody who's really into Mike Magnolia's uh, Hellboy as well would be probably appreciative of that. Not the most amazing thing from Dark Horse Comics um, for Hellboy, but intriguing, unique. That's alright. Not, not massively fussed on it, but it's, it's doable. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Right. Sorry. Right. So let's see what else is in here. Oh, what's this? Uh oh. Oh I was wondering why this box had like a little mark on the back of it. It's actually made to look like Harley's mallet. I think from um well Harley's mallet from Iono Show or from uh, Suicide Squad. But yeah, he said he makes it into a hammer. So this could be like a, just a chaotic Thor's hammer. I might, I might actually build that. I might do that whenever this is finished to see what it looks like. But um, I'm not too massively fussed on it. And uh, loot pins for the month of August. This one is Warcraft themed with, uh, is it Draenei or Draenei? Whatever they are, like a dark elf character on the front of it. Uh, this actually symbolizes the fact that the loot pins, the monthly loot pin kind of reward for this one is in fact um, all of the expansions up as far, or as, far as Warlords of Draenor, I think. Uh, for you to play, so you just get free access to World of Warcraft for uh, the hard software and uh, a couple of months or a month or so of access. I've already opened up mine and started it, and I haven't actually got around to playing it, so I'm kind of just burning time at the moment. But Warcraft, I gave it a try years back, uh, whenever it first went to the first 30 levels for free. And as an MMO, it fantasy doesn't hold me unless it's a Final Fantasy. That's, that's, why, that's what the problem is. And uh, uh, a solid fantasy background and location and the Warcraft style. I actually preferred it back in the RTS days. Uh, that, that was I, it was my jam back then. But now the the war lore in the world just kind of passed me by. So yeah, World of Warcraft available via loot pen. But um, I think there's actually a lot of like free packages you can get for World of Warcraft now, where it's actually like you can get the first 50 levels of the original base Warcraft, even though you're not really playing base Warcraft because vanilla doesn't exist anymore. So, going through the anti-hero box. Yeah, Loot Crate Magazine, anti-hero, review of Suicide Squad, Rebirth, uh, The Right Hand of Doom, blah, blah. Shows us how to build our, the mallet from Loot Crate. You can actually see it there inside the actual manual. So we'll probably have a wee crack at that after I finish reading through this. And yeah, we got a figure from Harley Quinn, in the history of Harley Quinn. Uh, so, oh yeah, uh, the girls from the Suicide Squad said you mark out each one that's actually been in it, like Katana and I think there was, a few other ones, Katana and probably Zatanna at some point. Enchantress, yeah. Did you chat about them? And Story Archer for President. A Kill Bill loot socks, which look like they're her yellow, like yellow tracksuit bottoms and trainers covered in blood. Which, to be honest, doesn't even look cool because they're designed to be worn without shoes. Fuck off. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, so you get to choose your um, 
a color code name, you know, like it's a black mamba, or was it a person? I'll go for mines. Mountain Python. I'm Mountain Python. I'll always mount that Python. So what's the deal with Hellboy's hand? Essentially explaining what it is. Uh, oh, the recipe for Hellboy hot wings. So that's nice enough. That's pretty cool. That's all right. Uh, special branding for lootware because they've changed their name from loot level up to lootware. And uh, we're enter the world of Warcraft. Uh, Twenty dollar value of the six expansions is four as Warlords of Draenor and thirty days of game time. Fair play. Uh, Slam crate and Suicide Squad. Oh yeah, it's actually. Oh, is it actually a look at it? Oh, boo. It was like three pages and that's all it was. And then they had Loot Anime at Anime Expo. And I don't know why that's actually being advertised. Well, it's essentially an advertisement on the back of this. And people's cosplaying and characters. Oh, there's actually a... The, Yume, the character from... Which means dream. You, Yume? Yume means dream. I think as far as I remember. Somebody cosplaying as Yume at uh, Con. That actually looks pretty cool. Well, I mean, they created their character. Of course, I expected that to happen at some point. And uh, what was in the Mega Create was a curved UHD TV, Harley Quinn Volume 1, Hellboy 2 Statuette, um, Lego, so Marvel, uh, Lego Super Heroes, or DC Comics Super Heroes, and the Tarantino It Disc Back Set. Meanwhile, you also could have got a Harley Quinn backpack uh, or an Archer talking bottle over there. I mean, that's. That's a pretty decent haul for anybody who got the Mini Mega or the Mega Crate. I, of course, did not get one. And one of the ones we'll be doing this week, the Hero Crate, has finally actually been started to advertise and shown what is inside it. I'm looking forward to seeing. And let's see if I will actually show up in this page at some point anytime soon with the loot wear and items. Now, that was it. That was the Anti Heroes box. Um, anti Heroes, Anti Climactic. But uh, to be honest, if they had gotten. They, they, because they did the Hardy Quinn figure, I think most people are happy with that box. I'm reasonably happy with that box. I actually, like, uh, the Hardy Quinn figure is always going to be one that I was always going to enjoy the heck out of. So I wasn't going to be upset in any way, shape, or form with the rest of the contents. But I'm, st I'm getting that real long feeling that people pointed out that Loot Crate is having issues getting items of value to get put into these crates now. And that's not a good sign. That's a uh, that's, that's actually signs that uh, there's something wrong about their communications with suppliers, or suppliers are not liking the way Lucrate advertises their items or groups them. So they will have their own advertiser issues, even though they're making money hand over fist and using it for video advertising on their own production side. I'd love to actually be making videos for Lucrate that way and getting paid for it, but uh, no, indeed, I am just a consumer who is talking about their product instead. Alright, well, let's see if we can get into the box here. Come on. I think that this box, because its dimensions are a little bit off, not off, but different from usual, means that it's actually being a little bit of a pain to actually flip these edges in. Come on. Why? There's not as much space to give in the edge of it. So that's the actual box. Let's see if we can get this hammer done dusted. Of course, uh, there has been a deluge of uh, box videos this week. Um, I'm sorry for the long wait for them all to arrive, but um, it's just because I've been hella busy. Uh, I've, I've got a program showing at uh, on broadcast television tonight that I actually took part in, and I hope you guys can get a chance to check it out and enjoy it. Uh, let's see, that could go in there. Yeah, that goes in there. Push that through. Ah, got my finger caught. I think I was meant to actually fold that in, was I? Yeah, we'll flick that in through here and then see if it actually locks in place. But yeah, that is essentially the box. What the hell? Did I mess something up there whenever I put that in? Okay, we'll just do that for the moment. And push this through. Nope. And there we go. <laughs> so yeah, that's Harley's club <laughs> kind of hammer thing. Not exactly massively stable. I'm sure there's actually a way to kind of attach it in to make it stay better. But um, yeah, this has been Loot Crate, the anti-heroes box for the month of August. I suppose this would have been the August box, yeah. 
So guys, make sure to come back anytime. If you like what you saw, uh, there's many other Loot Crate videos available on the channel. There's a bunch of other stuff on the channel that you can watch as well. I hope you actually enjoyed seeing me on doing these unboxings. Uh, with the new location around here, there'll be a lot more different shows being done with more guests because of being a much more accessible area and being in a better location. So I hope to see you guys all very soon for new content. Remember to always check out the videos that are out on Fridays, Wednesdays and Saturdays here on the channel and then all the bits in between that we try to get out for you as well. I will see you all very soon. The like button is right down there. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button right next to it. Just play with it like two little balls that are sitting right here. Give it a thumbs up, whatever you feel like, and make sure to share with your friends if you like to see the content. I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.